So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, oh, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you, if we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Hey there. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Good? Sure. Let's go. Come on, girl. Okay, girl. 
Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run-in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl, what was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Oakentown were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. That ought to do it. All right, let's go round them up. Let's go, cool, girl. Let's go get the strays. You ever work up on a ranch, Marston? No? You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Those cowboys I know are those trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things, bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Do it. Uh, uh. Whoa, whoa. Move it. You know what? Marsh, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm 
done arguing. <laughs> This route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Ain't moving. That's more like it. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? There, girl. <laughs> yeah! Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. <laughs> Easy. There you go. Come on, son. Not everything, but in the end, after you, I don't sir, in absolutes, just shit of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a uh, gentleman. Dutch, Maple, where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And we're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, 
my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen, drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of here now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You think I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. It is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Yeah. 
Sure, nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. Okay, girl. 
girl. Each. Is that the plan? For now. Well, oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. So, yeah. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we going to do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure. This can wait. There he is. Looks like you've been taking good care of that horse. Easy. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, uh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Whoa, whoa! We're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Well, call it what you want. I don't know. Or put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now, these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. 
Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Let's get. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. Go ahead. Sure. Let's get. Ready for business. Any issues? The first debate, second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tanks. Place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't need no one. He said, Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. Easy. I don't see none. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. Goose chase. Oh my God. That's not who you are. Well, maybe you don't
more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Look out! Careful. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real. You think this is the right way? Give me a second. Good, sir. They carry on along this trail. So, you were saying? He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Getting you out of here. If I... Yeah, okay. Here, you wait there a second. Charles! Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Easy, girl. All right. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. 
How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Hey, you're okay, girl. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. 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 Ich hab gedacht, du sagst du. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Well, now get out of here, this place ain't safe. Ja, ja, das war. Äh, auf was für Sie. Einen Moment. Äh, ähm, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. a bit of time, I hope. No. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. Morning. Oh, <laughs> 
What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Okay, girl. Shelter, tools, there was a lot of respect. My childhood. I think my people. Oh, rich mood. <laughs> well, my. So, where are we headed? Back up to the heartlands. Okay. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Do you mind if we just rode and enjoy the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, fine by me. Not far now. Let's cut up this way.
over there. Do you see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Too. It can all be used. Oh. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No. Look, bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. Oh. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I said we'd follow them. Alright. Lead the way. Alright. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison to our left there. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Five been the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need you. Oh, 
support that bison. It has to be that. Come on. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. All right. Get out of here. Oh, just, don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I see. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. There we go. Okay, settle down there.
Ah, I recognize that face. All right, take a look. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Yep, I get a lot of these. Hmm. Now, where did you get this, I wonder? Okay. Thanks for your help. After a little tchotchke, are we? So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. Ah. All right. Come on, my girl. Come on, girl. Yep. Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, mister. Yeah, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Yeah, rest a while, and we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Hey, there he is. Come on in. Come on. This is uh, very kind of you. Don't sweat it, partner. The pleasure's all ours. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Get that.
Yep.
You okay, mister? Please, I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink this. Oh, you need to... It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Not that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, out here. Girl. No more. Uh, Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Yeah. There, girl. Even the gods die. Hey, hey. Even the gods die in the air. And come here, my friend. Do you want to hear your fortune, sir? Sure. This is now the time of machines, the time of things. The time of man came and went as all things pass. As all things pass, my friend. Uh, thank you. Travel safe. Hey, you're okay, on trees. Hey, partner. Hey, friend.
How are you? You did good, girl. Hello. Well, it's been a little Very while, well, eh? Then. So, buy and selling. That's nice. That's seven cross for a while, eh? Good to see you. So, what do you have for me? More streetcar tracks going through decent folks' houses. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, mister. Sir? I don't like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. I hate you, little. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. Hey, Sonia! Xin Sang, Zhou Hello. Hello, sir. 
Good morning. Easy, easy. Morning, mister. All right. I just need a quick word, please. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bet. Hey, I'm Berman. Thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I guess I got some cleaning to do. Good morning, partner. Morning, Mister.
Buenos días, señor. Morning, Ted. Good morning to you. Hello, pretty lady. Xin sang, lay ho. Rimini. This way. Come on. Sir? This is turning into one of them days. Huh. Hi, uh, ma'am. Uh, buenos dias. Hope you're okay there, miss. Ay, muchas gracias. Hey, mister. Morning to you. Morning, sir. Hey, folks. Good morning. Morning. Morning, sir. Good morning, hey there, sir. How can I help? You? Best meat in town, so right here. Hey, mister. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, friend. Hey, ma'am. Hello. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Mmm. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. Or well. Mr. 
acting tough, are you? Don't Wait, what the? Damn it! Now don't make any hey, dumb moves. Hey, hey, don't shoot. Go get your thrill out of bullying someone else. This what you want? Don't kill me, please! Oh, hey, hey you! You ain't supposed to be here! No, no, I'm just a kid! I don't wanna die! Help! Hey there. Hey there. Saludos. Yo. Uh, hey there, partner. They hope. Never happen again. I didn't mean anything, really. Oh, oh Lordy, I'll take that. Help. Untie me, go away. Come on, this ain't fair. Hola, señorita. Hey there, partner. Hello. Hey there, folks. Hi there. Nice hey, y'all. Hey there. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Okay, but know that I am watching you like a buzzard. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Excellent choice. I can give you some better options for the sites. 
It really suits you. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Either you buy something or you leave. You made a good decision. Are you going to buy anything? Hello, ma'am. Howdy, mister. You know, you look just like a lady I once knew. Oh, uh-huh. Mister. Hello there. My brother Julio has gone missing. Nobody's seen him for over a week. He must be kidding me. Answer to yourself. I'm sorry there.
that young Mr. Adams back proposed. To Ain't no way for a person to act. Yeah. Like I heard what you Each heard. to their own, my friend. What's new? Anyway, how's it going with you? Yep. Yep. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How do you do? Hey. Anyway. Hey there. Hey there. Hey, howdy, sir. Hey, fellas. Hey there. Partner. Good day so far. Hey, partner. How's things? Just fine.
Hey, mister. How do you do? Hello, sir. Hey. Take care now. Au revoir, see ya. Oh, well. So, yeah. Ah. Hey, partner. Hello. Bonjour, monsieur. Take it, please. The show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth. tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream. An old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. 
and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes on, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prove a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fanny Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he... walked outside as I hadn't listened, frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Nice evening. Good evening. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? 
<laughs> All right. you thank you welcome welcome everyone i am your host aldridge t abington thank you yes aldridge t abington few men have had a career more you crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than i during extensive travel through this and foreign lands I have cured a show so fantastical, there exists nothing like it. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place. Uh, our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. Mate! You, sir! Do you assist? Mm. Yeah, yeah! Come on up! Oh, here! Yeah, you know that guy! Let's see! Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that guy! Oh. Yeah. You look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. We want more! Ah, oh, the only Do danger it. is breaking your arm. What do you bring <laughs> I'm a master of... Have you ever seen this? Oh my god. And... Dissipation! And even yeah. the no. art of... <laughs> Transfiguration! Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Oof! What the hell 
I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I'll relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Join your nasty little pervert! What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show! This is so good! Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me. Give us some more. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just... I raised him, I bathed him, yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. Yep, yeah. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus. Go on. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. This Many tools were tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> Well, sure he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will have this heavy pack and bush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes. This is a a man show. I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off. We want my more! Head. This is insane. Yeah. Off my head. Here we go! Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Me! Hey. Oh my god, what? Oh my god! Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That this always scares Show me. Show us how it's done! <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Oh, wow. How about that? Yeah. What is he doing? What? Oh my god! Yeah.
Bunch of dang boulder dads. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm, ah. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet. In my teeth. This is so. Yeah. Is no one man enough? Come on. Someone All right. Stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is going to expose this phony, then I will. I trust you. Got a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? for bits and girls satisfaction <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia where they do not wear clothes please again yes come on boys all aboard for those with the universal good morning to you and pride, you will pay. You'll pay her a right if you die as you live. Any last yeah. words before the noose? That ugly bitch deserved what she got. Yeah, oh, she you. Deserved. Hey, remember where Frank come? Help me out again. Where'd you? Oh, oh, there you go. It's you. What, I heard what the, the hell man. did you do? and a part behavior will not stand so in this far from over. Heed these words. I could go for some crawfish. Yep. 
Here. Come oh, on, girl. got places to be. Good morning, sir. Hey, come on now. Hey there, mister. Fine, boy. Stop right there and face the law! Evening, sir. Evening. Have a good night, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How you doing today? Hey, you got some real problems. You know that? You must like living here. 
All the best now. Bye now. Gentlemen, good evening to you. Have a nice evening. Howdy, fellas. Evening, sir. Pleasant evening to you. Excuse me, partner. Evening to you, sir. Nice round here. I'm kind of new to parts. Huh? Look to you. Have a blessed day. Time flies. Yeah, I heard the same. Hi, uh, ma'am. See, sir. Oh, you look kind I have no idea. Come on, girl. Follow me. Sorry. Oops. So, oh, dear.
Hello, sir. This way. Come on. <laughs> sir? Let's get you looking good. Yeah.
Hey, move it! You haven't been telling people about the uh, that little situation you helped me out with, have you? No, sir. It's something I'd rather not people know what about. Hard enough me. maintaining my reputation in this part of town with our rumors of uninvited guests. Hello, sir. Uh oh, mister. Oh, my back. Hello. Hi, uh, folks. <sighs> Don't mind me. Hi, mister. Hey. Hey, folks. Hello? Hello. I've been covered in worse, uh, Fran. Uh, uh, of all the days. Hey, Fran. Hello. You know when you have one of those days.
Good job, girl. Hello, sir. I can't complain.
Hey, partner. All right, simmer down. What's the meaning of all this nonsense? Hey, I think someone far away is calling you. Go see him. Okay, I ain't looking for trouble. Excuse What's me? the matter with you? Will you stop bothering Hey, watch yourself. Oh, stay there. Glad we got this workout. Hands up now. Oh, I'm you. Take a breath here, shall we? Push it up.
Stop that bastard! He's here! Easy now, partner. Spitting hell! This is one for the police. This is bad! Christ, no! Back off of me, damn it! No. Let's go see what we can do. For God's sake! Sir? Oh, hell no! Stick okay, him up. Hey, take it easy. Please, God damn it, I'm him. taking you in. No, not like this. I'm gonna watch you break.
Mind your business and keep walking, huh? Don't have to tell me twice. Real stupid, pal. Not a bad haul. You enjoy that sale? I can get you another visit, so watch yourself. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> Evening. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe. He just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Yep. Uh, Gav! That's right, all right. Where are you? Where are you? Maybe we're sure. Evening. Are you going to behave this time? 
Please mind my shop. Come on, you tell me what you want, hurry. Excuse me, get out of there. This is a civilized establishment. Behave, please. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. What's wrong with you? Hey, think again. I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace where people... Relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and rip the bags then. Go on, move. Open up, it's me. Again. Must be a slow day. You know how it goes. Hello, mister. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yeah, I, said, I suppose you're right. Do you? Wild security. What the hell is going on back here? No, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door at the end of the hallway. Just calm down. No shooting. They ain't paying me enough to care about this. I won't breathe a word to no one. Third damn floor. Don't you try causing no trouble here. Don't do anything stupid. It's all right there on the table. There you go. It's all yours. Just, just stay calm, okay? If I find out you fellas are holding out on me, it's going to end very badly Oh, for God, me. no! Oh, damn it. You keep your mouth shut. All that commotion, I wouldn't hang around, sir. Police respond very quickly around here. You're coming with me! Why, 
tickets for one, please. The theater of Rileur awaits you behind those doors. For your obeisance, truly, I am Aldridge T. Abington, tasked with bringing you the greatest show in Saint Denis, or for that matter, the whole world. I have the foresight and fortitude to bring you acts that, when exhibited together, comprise the most amusing actors, captivating performers, and feats of amazement for your emotional, spiritual, and psychological enhancement. My delight in acquisitiveness began at an early age when I was the proprietor of a tiny dog circus, <laughs> which tragically perished in a, a tavern fire. Yes, thank Give you. Give us some more! Oh, my little babies. But that's another story. Let us prepare now for a phenomenal Evening! From my time in France, I met these lovely girls who would dance and expose their bloobers yeah. for a piece of molasses candy. Oh, what a delight. I bring you the girls of Petite Flaneur in Gay Paris. Yeah. French girls are all right. <laughs> Majestic. Have you ever seen such a yeah, thing? Do it. I'm all a quiver, I can tell you. <laughs> I bring you the most incredible singer of serpents this side of the swamp. From La Grasse she is, speaking in that battered tongue, but bringing us a show unlike 
any other. The mysterious Maya. If only Eve danced so well with her devil, maybe humanity That's would still it. live in a garden of innocent grandeur rather than a pit of depravity and despair. <laughs> While traveling in the hills of Bavaria, my old factories were disturbed by a monstrous manure cart in front of me. <laughs> I was surprised to find it wasn't pulled by a beast of burden, but instead, by a mighty woman, as strong as an ox, I present to you the great Hortensia. <laughs> It's a mighty strong woman. <laughs> 
Incredible! I hear that all the women of Bavaria undertake that very ritual on their wedding night. <laughs> it has been my pleasure entertaining you this evening. Each day is one less until our last. Distraction is our greatest joy! This? Good night! Until next time! Hmm, just uh, cool in your heels by the theater? Bonjour, monsieur. What are you trailing me around for? listening to you play. See you. Ladies. Bonjour. people around here. Buenos dias, senor. Anyway, didn't mean to disturb you, folks. 
Hi there. Come on in. Got an idea of what you want? Now that isn't half bad, huh? Hmm, I say you look ready for a portrait now. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thank you for your help. Hey, mister. Mister, I always say, manners cost nothing. Yeah? You'll enjoy the rest of your day. Be seen. Hey, mister. Hello. I imagine you got your work cut out for you around here. So, please, don't let me keep you. Goodbye, now. Hey, mister. Monsieur? You look like a man on a mission. Excuse me, partner. How do you do? Hey there, you remind me of the fellow. No, the rain would bother me as much as the mud. The love of all that is holy. Ma'am? What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> Do, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. So would it be? You're not even good drunks. Just sit there then. You got any rooms? Okay, rooms all set. Get up there when you're ready. The longer you play, the more people aim for keys. Partner. Je vous salut. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. This town is so boring. All of you, you're all boring. Do you want to have a good time? Can I offer any assistance? Sure. We'll be cleaned up in no time. Let me know if it's too warm. Mm -hmm. 
been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Ain't that something? I don't half gossip around here. Yeah, that's the new normal in these parts. <sighs> Life can always be worse. That's for certain. Oh, I'm thinking I don't want this to end. And you're thinking when will this be over? <laughs> you're an amusing man, you know that? Are you married? Oh, <laughs> now that ain't something I should talk about on a client's dime. So, what do you do when you ain't bathing folk? All right, I think that should do it. You take care of yourself, all right? Hello, ma'am. Mais quelle délicieuse surprise! I just ain't the mood. It's fine. Some men are intimidated. Following me, naughty boy. Sorry, heading the clouds. <clears throat> Ma'am, it was nothing personal earlier. No worries, darling, but I can assure you I am worth every cent. Hey, y'all. Hello there, Ma'am. Mais bonjour. Howdy, handsome. Again. Maybe another time, darling. Au revoir. Hello. Thanks for your assistance. Excuse me. How do you do? Are you well? Of days. Hey, no to Oh, for the blind. Is is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Hmm. Oh, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people. 
people in the world like you. God bless. <laughs>